So you tell veganism is better than having on meat, food, and everything. What right? do you mean by better exactly? Better is like it is ethical. Yes, fair enough. I say that. Yes, it's ethical. Yes. Ipo we see history. In olden days, liyo, idhe na similar thing happened. Those who eat meat were treated as untouchabilities. Poor people are tend to kill animals. Poor people are tend to kill animals. Cal uh, they they were growing animals. Angle wala tanga they killed and they ate it because they were untouchabilities. So I do think it is a modern way of political lobby bring up veganism against non-vegetarian. Okay, can I answer right now? <laughs> Number one, you are confusing vegetarianism, Brahminical vegetarianism, with veganism, which is why I don't know. In the beginning, if you notice, I told unlike vegetarianism, which is a diet people tend to follow for religious, cultural, or spiritual reasons, veganism is not a diet. It is an animal rights cause that exists for the sole purpose of ending violence to all animals. Vegans condemn Brahmins because Brahmins are not vegans. They wear silk, comes from boiling silkworms. They happily drink milk, eat curd rice. Not to mention vegetarians also eat eggs sometimes. Vegetarians for their weddings, they'll use horses. They will go to the zoo or circus. They don't care about animals. Vegetarian has nothing to do with animals. Vegetarianism and caste, what you speak, is true. That I agree with you 100%. But you in this position right now, what you're doing is you're confusing veganism along with vegetarianism. Whether you're knowingly doing that or unknowingly, I don't know. But first, do you agree that these two are different? Veganism yeah. and so, uh, so what I am spreading here. Anyway, veganism is okay. But anyway, you tell veganism is all about vegetable, and it it is a modern form of telling that veganism is superior than eating of meat. Let me ask you a so question. It, it is it is bringing in a discrimination, and if 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 suppose this spreads up, won't it create an casteism or similar like veganism and social issue and create an social problems? Fair enough. Let me answer you. So when you saw me speaking here in the beginning, before I even mentioned what speciesism is, did you see me here speaking about casteism? You saw me. I mentioned what it is. I told that humans used to behave this way. They'll say I am special. I am superior. Do you think I support casteism or I'm against it? What do you think about me personally? Since you know me for one hour, what do you think about me? You're neutral. I'm how? Neutral. Neutral. So at least I'm not harmful. Okay, right. Now when it comes to, so I am not causing any harm to anybody. So vegans, if you see a vegan out there who is again saying stuff like that, please do condemn them because that's wrong. I will never ever say casteism is right. Of course, it's 100% wrong. See, if I am standing here and saying that it's wrong to kill a chicken, I very well in my brain understand that you, another human, is my equal. Of course, we are equal. Now, you are looking at it in the wrong way, superior, inferior, okay? My point here was not to come to the class and say, oh, I'm, look at me, I'm a vegan, I'm better than all of you guys. That's not the point. I am trying to show you the reality of what's happening, which has been hidden from you through marketing. I'm showing this to you and showing to you how it is similar to other forms of discrimination. If you are someone who has suffered from casteism, it should be all the more important for you to become vegan because now you should realize that you are treating animals the same way you don't want others to treat you. How is there any difference between casteism, sexism, racism, homophobia, speciesism? Or, see, either discrimination is wrong or it's right. You cannot pick and choose where it's wrong. I am saying it's wrong. I am against all forms of discrimination. Every human in this classroom is an equal. Similarly, I am not even asking you to think that every animal is an equal. I am just asking you to think that an animal's life is not more important than your taste buds. That's all. You don't have to think an animal is your equal. Just please live a life but you think that at least they are not more important than your tongue. That's all I'm asking you. Is that wrong? Okay, one more question is this whole meat industry is around crows and crows of business. Uh, you, you disturbing it may cause an economic crisis also. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what would be the solution for sure, it? Sure, I'll answer that question. So if you're talking about people who are working in these industries like these farmers who again come from impoverished and uh, underprivileged places, let me talk about that. You see, firstly, losing a job temporarily, again, let me finish this fully, hear me out. Losing a job temporarily is not the same as being unemployed forever. When a particular sector is no longer profitable, people will move from this sector to another sector. As we move towards a vegan world, more and more vegan food options will come into play. This does not mean necessarily something like soya meat or soya milk, even something as simple as grains and dal and fruits and vegetables I'm talking about. This is a slow and gradual shift in society, very slow gradual shift and not an overnight change that will suddenly lead to a collapse and leave all farmers stranded without money or anything like that. But you have to understand one thing here, which you may not like to hear, but I have to say it. The farmer is not the victim in this scenario. The animals are. Think of it this way. If a farmer were kidnapping you and your family and trying to sell your organs in the black market and I stop the farmer, does that mean that I now have Brahmin agenda? I now have an agenda against farmers? No, it just basically means that I have basic respect and value for your life. The sad thing is that most people feel that animals are not deserving
deserving of this very same basic respect and consideration just because they're animals, whereas their murderers are just because they are human, speciesism. You see, if saving you meant that a farmer had to go out of business, you would still want me to save your life. Don't you think the animals who are right now suffering and dying feel the exact same way? They do. In case you lose a job, you can get another one. If you lose money, you can earn it back. A lost life does not come back. These animals value their lives just as much as you and me value our own. So this is not going to be an immediate change. It will happen slowly. We are basically changing the products on the shelf. We are not changing who's putting it there. The product, instead of meat, will now be vegan. That's it. We're just trying to change what product is being put on the shelves. The supply chain will be the same. What is in the chain is only different. People who are working in the chain, they'll still be working. It's just that there'll be newer things they'll be working on. That's it. Do you get my point? Okay.